Okay, welcome to video number two. We are going to be working on the binding system, which is the inside piece right here. I'm using Misty Moonlight. Um, this is what holds our pages in place. So we are going to get started. Again, this is the six and a half by 12 inch piece. We are going to turn it on the short side at the top, which is the six and a half, and we're going to take and score at the one inch line. and the five and a half, five and a half inch line. We're gonna turn it on the long side and we're gonna score at every inch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right, so your piece should look like that. Okay, we are done with that for now. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna burnish. Now we're gonna fold it like an accordion. So we're gonna start with our flap, fold it down, and then turn it over. And keep on doing that until you get to the very end. And you should have something that looks like that. Now, if you have it turned over like this with your edges pointing down towards the table, you're gonna wanna flip it up this way. Um, I found it easier and less confusing for me <laughs> to have it up this way. So, we are going to start now um, by these edges, we're going to cut on the mountain pieces. So this is a mountain, a valley, a mountain. Okay, so we're going to cut on all the mountains, which is every other score line. We're going to cut straight down to the first score line that goes horizontally. Okay, and again, this is a mountain here. So we skip one and then do this one. It's our mountain. This is our valley and our mountain. And we're gonna do the exact same thing. And if you need to scrunch it up again, go ahead so you know where to start. Now that we have that, we are going to next create some score lines. And how I'm doing that is I'm just taking a regular ruler and bringing out my score tool again. Um, we're gonna start at the edge here and we're gonna score uh, from this middle point here down to the corner over here. So we're gonna start here And go up and it's just on those two pieces that are attached to each other start here and go up so the two pieces that are attached like that score up and down to create like a little triangle in the middle I hope you guys can see that and then we're going to move on to the next one and do the exact same thing all the way around and on the bottom. Okay, and your piece should look like this all the way around. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to start on these score lines and we're going to fold them in to the middle score. So we have pieces that will look like this. Now what I did is I went ahead and scored on these to make it easier um, than just folding them in. 
So now we're gonna go ahead and go all the way around and create these points all the way on the top and the bottom pieces. All right, now your piece should look like that. The extra step that I did on my album is I took a little bit of glue and glued these tabs down. Now you do not need to do that. However, I felt it just gave it a little bit more of a cleaner look and um, you didn't have no uh, flaps really uh, flapping around, but just put just a tiny little bit of glue on the inside here all the way around to adhere these points down. And you don't wanna to have too much glue because if it seeps over, then it's gonna be sticking on pieces that you don't want it to. So I try to stick to more of the inside of it rather than making sure the glue is all the way around. So once that has dried for you, we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna to begin to fold these over and just give it a gentle press on all of these. So now we're bending it backwards where those points were folded. We're gonna fold this together with these two points in the middle. So we're gonna have um, the outside again is gonna be pointing up, the very cut edge, and then we're gonna create a valley where these points are. Okay, and we're going to do that all the way down. Fold those points in. This is the valley. We're gonna fold that in. And then our last one here. Like so. And then I just go through and just, again, give it a little burnish on the middle parts here. You wanna be gentle because sometimes you can tear the fibers of the paper and have a frayed edge. So while you're applying a good pressure, just make sure you're not pressing too hard. Okay, we'll open it up and this is what the inside should look like. So the cool thing about this is our next step and next video, we will be sliding our pages in between here and here. So, um, we're going to get that started here shortly um, on to our next video. If you have any questions, please let us know.